Hey everybody, this is Mike. Today is August 23rd maybe. It's Friday and this video is going to be a short one. It's in response to, um, I don't know, like a bunch of stuff which is going on in the, uh, in the, the mainstream world. You know, last night was a democratic convention, the conclusion. Uh, there's some, some freaky stuff coming on out of, of Australia, <laughs> of, of what is uh, promised to be coming down the pike. So, um, you know, I'm saying the obvious. I mean, you should, there's never been a moment this is not true, but I mean, it's, it's just becoming more and more evident is that there is, uh, you know, there is a full scale um, on every level imaginable um, war and attack being waged on humanity. And at this point, I want to make reference to Sun Tzu's Art of Warfare. And it says in there, you know, um, if you're a human being, you should not think this way naturally. But what's nice about this book is you begin to understand um, the, 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 the logic, the, the, the common sense of, 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 of warring types. But it says that uh, the most effective warfare is on an enemy that does not know that war is being waged upon them. All right? So think about that. That's not like, oh, they're, you know, if they're dropping bombs on you, you know that they're, someone's waging war on you. But when, when, when it is not evident that, 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 you know, the war is happening, and that's very clear, you know, if you're watching the show, you, 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 you obviously see through it, but for the majority of humanity who is waging war on themselves based upon what they're being told from the computer box, like that's what it means when your enemy does not realize that war is being waged upon them. And then the second uh, point I want to make from the art of war is that the enemy or does not know who um, they're fighting. And that is true now. Like, I mean, that's, that's us. You know, we've got ideas, you know, I talk about people, you talk about people, but that's not who we're fighting against. This is too widespread. There was once upon a time where the wars were being fought in one theater or another, and there was always this kind of like an idea if you found yourself unlucky to be in a place where the war was being waged, like, oh, if I could just get over there, if I could just go there, um, that's not an option anymore. But here's the thing which is exciting about that. <laughs> exciting. Um, because there are no other of these like escape options, you're like, oh, if I could just get out of the country, if I could just go to this other place, it forces you to realize the nature of this war and the nature of the solutions. And so that's what I want to talk about today. You know, I'm not, I, I never talk about solutions because I don't think that's my job. You know, that's not what I have. What I hope to do is inspire or to give the, the key so that we can begin to find the solutions ourselves. So that's what this is going to be about. So whatever solution we have to this situation, it's going to sound like fantasy. It has to sound like fantasy. If it does not sound like fantasy, if there's not an element of fantasy within it, well then that ain't the solution. Now that does not mean, that does not mean that every fantasy is the solution. I mean, there's obviously, there is, you know, there's, there's nothing valuable about a fantasy. But when we begin to understand the situation and we begin to understand that this is, you know, at the very least, multiple, multiple generations. And when we see that, that, that mortar on the top of the graduation cap, you know, and, and the more graduation caps you have, the more your consciousness, that's what this represents, has been molded into a square, into a brick, into a box. And what that means is in, in, in ways that we probably don't even fully understand that we understand our reality in this very very specific consciousness and the square if you will is a metaphor maybe it's real but by going through schooling the wherever you went through schooling if you got that mortarboard on your head your consciousness has been shaped in such a way so that you will not see something and so 
when we are beginning to talk about solutions and they are outside of that box, outside of that mortar board which has shaped our consciousness, it will sound like fantasy. Kind of fun. It's kind of exciting. You understand now why Disney wants to capture your imagination. They want to capture the way you think, what you think is possible, and what you think is not possible. There's no place to go now except for a different way of seeing things. So, you know, this is Mike. It's Friday. <laughs> hope you have a nice weekend. Um, I hope you begin to uh, really recognize what is of value and true value and what is not. Begin to recognize um, what it means to be human, what it means to not be human. I like to use the words demonic uh, as those that are not human. Um, because we're about to start, you know, probably sooner than later, uh, the next wave. Until the next time.